Yo, what's going on guys? Boy, make sure I see you back with another video. Got my crating out. This will be the last run of my crating ADS. Uh, doing a speed test of it. Um, I'm have I was having a lot of problems that when hitting about 80, 85 miles per hour, this uh, center uh, drive shaft will bend. I got to replace, but uh, it still looks wobbly, even a factory one. And honestly, I, at this point, I give up on it. I did want to go ahead and or I did want to get one from CRCU, uh, custom RC one, but you know that overseas uh, price and everything for it was too astronomical for me. I'm not I'm not going to do that. This car is not really meant to go, you know, go fast. It's meant to be bashed and, and raced like that. But uh, this will be my last run on it. The goal was 100 miles per hour, but you know what? I'm I'm good with 85. Yeah, I, but I do know what it was holding it back and M2C did say because I got an M2C chassis. I did call them up. They do have one uh, In the plans for making that and they do know that that is a problem uh, So but that's the only problem I'm having that's holding this car back and I've gone through three of them So and I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm not wasting no money on that. Uh, it's it's not happening uh, so other than that I did started to convert my um, RTR Creighton 8S to EXB, got the EXB um, shocks. Um, you can see by the, the bottom part here, that's connected to the A-arm, and you know, also on the front. I already had sway bar links on my car before they even came out with the EXB version. Um, I did order that, and I am still running the stock servo. So guys, uh, you know, talking about the uh, servo for this car, I'm not having any issues with mine. Um, I do also have the EXB turnbuckles as well. Uh, I just haven't put them on yet. I'm going to do this run and that's it. And then I'll put it on. And then there'll be all like uh, metal uh, titanium links. And them things are thick too. So but other than that, shock towers, I'm not really going to change unless they break. And I haven't broken it. This is still stock. I haven't broken anything other than A-arms, um, which uh, will be the next investment for this car. But other than that, uh, let's go ahead and get this video run underway. All right, here we go, guys. Crayon 8S, last run. We're going to hit start, stop, read, zero, start. Y'all see it moving? All right, here we go. Last run. All right, I am on the RC6 GS. There we go. There we got two little kids right there. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. I'm a Creighton. There we go. Let's just see what it do. Check it out. We're gonna get a stop. Read. 88 miles per hour. 88, that's a new PB for my armor crating right there. 88 miles per hour. We almost hit 90. And uh, these are running on the SMCs. All right, so, hey, that's it. A 2001 is 22 six feet at 88 miles per hour. That's not bad, you know? That's awesome. Well, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll check you guys later. Definitely the center drive shaft works. Uh, I didn't hear any rubber or anything after 80 miles per hour. It, it looked pretty good, pretty good. Uh, other than that, that's it. All right. We're gonna start. Stop. Read. 
All right. It's the last run. X01, baby. I'll race you. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Hot body. I just hit 88. That's a new PB. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try one more time. I got enough battery juice in here for one more run. All right, here we go. Hey, every time I turn my butt, the thing just gets all crazy. There we go. All right, here we go, man. Hey, hey Tony. Hey, I'm about to come down. I'm about to come down. Here we go. Woo! Yeah. Let's go. Hey, y'all heard that thing? It, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Here we go, stop. Three. 89. That's a new PB, 89. That's right there. Drive shaft definitely was uh rubbing. You can hear it. But that's it. 89 miles per hour. Went an extra 100 feet. Uh-oh. <laughs> so that's my new pb for my on-road armor creating um that's in a drive shaft man i'm gonna pop that open all right here we go so yeah look at that it uh, um the bearing done came out so there it is see the bearing is sitting right there right there look at that it done came all we help. Brand new. <laughs> wow. That was it. That was the problem. Definitely. And done rubbed up on the M2C chassis where the screws were. And uh, that was it. So it looked like the bearing was bad. We're going ahead and replace that. But that's it, man. I'm not us. Uh, I'm not running this on road no more. I, mean, I want to enjoy it and use for what it's meant to be used. That's out there. The feel. And uh, that's it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure I see you out. Stay, stay safe. All right, guys. I had some uh, spectators here and they wanted to be getting a video. So, guys, go ahead. Say, state your name. What's your name? I'm Kayla. Uh-huh. My name is Kendra. What's your name? My name is Chanel. Chanel. Okay. My name is Kaye. Kaye. All right, man. And we like your RC car and we're a fan of your videos. There you go. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming out and watching. I really do appreciate, you know, Allow me to come out here and get a test and I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right, guys. And we got one more. Go ahead and state your name, buddy. What's up? You like, you just woke up. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Kaden. Kaden? All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out, man. I appreciate you guys, all right? All right. And you got something else to say? You always, you like, you always got something to say. And then that's my brother. <laughs> that's your brother. Hey, you take care of your brother. All right, guys. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, man. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Say bye. 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 Say bye.